Hi, my name is Kassel Kim and you're listening to Word of God, The Seven Days of God Creation on Earth, Part 7. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. John 1, 1 1-2 And who was with God in the beginning? The Word. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. John 1, 3 Through who all things were made? The Word of God. In him was life, and that life was in the light of men, John 1, 4. In whom was the life? The word of God. And who was man? Asked the human being. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it, John 1, 5. What light shines in the darkness? The word of God. Now, let's go to the book of Genesis, chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, Genesis 1, 1. Here we can see clearly that first God created the heavens and everything in it, and then he created the earth. And today we are not going to talk about what God was created in the heavens above, but we are going to talk about what God was created on the earth below, shall we? And to sum it up, on the first day God created the light, the earth, the day, and the night, Genesis 1, 1 1-5. On the second day God created the sky, Genesis 1, 6-8. Six to eight. On the third day, God created the dry ground, called it land, and he commanded the land to produce every vegetation according to their kinds, and so as every plant, every trees, each according to the various kinds. Genesis 1, 9 to 13. On the fourth day, God created the sun, the moon, and the stars, and set them in their galaxy far, far away, high in the sky to give light on the earth. Genesis 1, 14 to 19. On the fifth day, God created the great creatures of the sea floor and every living and moving thing with which the water brings each according to their kinds and every winged bird according to their kinds. And God blessed them to multiply and so they did. Genesis 1, 20 to 23. And on the sixth day, God created every livestock, creatures that move along the ground and wild animals each according to their kinds, Genesis 1, 24 to 25. Then last but not least, God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created them, male and female, Genesis 1, 26. And God blessed them and everything he had made to multiply and increase on the earth, Genesis 1, 27 to 28. Then God gave them permission to rule over everything he had made, on the whole face of the earth and the right to eat everything that he had made on the earth genesis one twenty nine to thirty and that means everything that we see taste touch smell love like wonders admire treasure and adore here on earth is the power of god is the word of god alone that made it in the beginning amen hallelujah praise the lord and that also means god finished created everything here on earth on the six days. Then on the seventh day, what did God do? And here is what the word of God said. Though the heavens and the earth were created in all their vast arrays, by the seventh day God finished the work he had been doing. So on the seventh day God rested from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he rested from all the work of creating that he had done Genesis 1 just sorry Genesis 2 1 to 3 is that means on the seventh day God do nothing and he rested from all the, his work yes that is correct and that also means on the sixth day God work I mean and that mean six day God work and on the seven God rest that's right that's right and God also take a day off from all his work too? That's right, people. God rests on the seven, and so shall we. And so that concludes our hot topic of the seven days creation of God here on earth. Would you like to know what happened next? Stick around and you will find out. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe. See you next time and God bless. Please leave a comments below. Any question, just type it down there. Thank you. Bye.